Welcome to part two of my review of the 2023 Volume 2 Catalog by Lionel. The Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway Legacy Set. Everything the passenger cars and the engine require 054 curves. It's pulled by an SD50 I mentioned earlier. You know. Hopefully Lionel will make a model of Redding 425 sometime soon. These passenger cars would have been gone nice with it. Then we've got some two premium sets. Train sets with no track, no transformer. And last couple of times they, they did have some uh, vision line boxcars or reefers or something. Now it's just the Freight Sounds boxcar. I really am in the mood for a Pensy M1. I might get it as this set, or I might just get this one or something. The American Orient Express. Maybe you could pretend there's a murder mystery on this train. It was a long-distance passenger train that traveled all over America. It started in 1989 and came from restored, streamlined passenger cars. However, the interiors are much fancier than what they used to look like. And for the locomotives, well... At one point they had their own engines, but most of the time they borrowed Amtrak engines or something. It did cost a thousand dollars per passenger, which is more expensive than Amtrak. And it came to an end after a couple accidents and financial shortages in 2008. After that, they sold some passenger cars to scraps or crap, or some of them have been preserved or being used on tourist railroads or something. So the real one closed down, but the Lionel one doesn't have to. But wow, it's around as, as expensive as writing the real thing. It will be if you buy buy a Station Sounds Dider and a Dome Car to go along with the set as well. And speaking of Station Sounds Diners, when's the last time Lionel has created one that can run on curves as sharp as 031? Now they can only run on 054! I mean, seriously! Most people do not have curves as wide as 054! And since Lionel discontinued their 031 station sounds dining cars, those people cannot use the station sounds diners! What the hell, Lionel? Come on! Bring back those all 31 Station Sounds Diners! Then we've got the Amtrak uh, Station Sounds Dome Car, which retired in 2019. And it has now been sold to the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad. Which is also in this catalog. So you can have two different versions of this dome car. That's pretty interesting. You know, Amtrak should create a single-decker passenger car that has a really good view, like the lounge car or this dome car, or maybe uh, convert one of their Amfleets or view liners to have a great view, or maybe create a new one by Simons. Whatever, the long-distant routes of the east could use a passenger car with big and rooftop windows. The training cars, they've got sounds. They're actually to train employees, uh, and it's easier to bring the classroom to the employees than it is to bring the employees to the classroom. 
The Union Pacific one has an N-scale layout, but don't expect Lionel to put a moving train inside it, like the hobby shop or the Angela Trotter building. Because N-gauge and O-gauge, that's gonna be too small. It might- N-gauge and O-gauge, that will be no gauge. Get the joke? Get it? I got that joke from Lionel doing a review on this catalog. Maybe Lionel could make that layout by printing one on a table inside. Then we've got a bunch of freight cars, and here's an interesting question. Why? Why buy them? They usually cost about a hundred dollars, and they barely have any features at all. And many freight cars on eBay are much cheaper than that. I have seen four packs that are cheaper than this one pack. So, why buy them? However, the Patriot sounds boxcars, I mean, since they have sound, I'll understand if you, that if you'll buy them. But buying these instead of the ones on eBay sounds like a bad idea completely. A stupid idea has fallen into the river in Lionel City! Start the helicopter! Hey! Build the helicopter! Fly it! Drop your bombs and destroy the stupid idea! The new stupid ass idea destroying helicopter from Lionel City! Doesn't sound like a bad idea to get these cars, then you get a bunch of tractors! It'll be good if you're running a farming railroad or something. Now we have gotten to the Lion Chief stuff, starting with Lion Chief Plus 2.0, which is a lot better than Lion Chief. I mean, seriously, Lion Chief Plus 2.0 has much better quality sounds and much better speed control. Seriously, Lion Chief looks like crap in comparison. And here's one I'll get for sure. The Berkshires. Tooling fresh from the post-war era. They look nice. I'll get the Lionel Lines version due to the fact that it reminds me of one of those Lionel New York Central Hudsons. It's just got such a classic Lionel look to it. Too bad Lionel is getting lazy with the marker lights and giving them jewels instead of, you know, actual lights. But it's nice to see this post-war tooling get remade with newer electronics. Then we've got the GP7s. Diesels without one of the advantages of diesels. A good view. Then we've got the Great Northern Lion Chief set. This must have been an MTH tooling. It features the total bullshit of having Lion Chief instead of DCS. Seriously, I like DCS better than Lion Chief. But I like Legacy better than DCS. Then we've got the Looney Tunes themed trains. Such as barrels with explosives. This will actually make your post-war barrel loader more interesting. Then we've got an exploding Acme Dynamite factory that must work the exact same way as this fireworks store. These explosions will cr make you question why this coyote isn't dead yet. 
Then we've got a Bugs and a Daffy Duck hand car, along with some box cars. I don't think they're exploding box cars, but these exploding box cars are not that good. They're just pain in the ass to put back together. Then we've got the Lionel train table. You think buying this is gonna be a good idea? It's probably gonna be very difficult to put in your house, uh, bringing it up and down the stairs and turning it around through corners. And it's expensive, costing about a thousand dollars. I mean, seriously. And it's not even big enough. Not big enough for a loop of 072. Not even big enough for 054. And take a look at the layout I built. It's much bigger and it's much cheaper. It's got an incline, a roundhouse, a loop of 072 track along with operating accessories so my trains can pick up and deliver loads electronically. Oh, because I didn't make the dumb decision of buying this table instead. And that's it for the catalog! I'll get a Lionel Lines Berkshire and a Pennsylvania M1B. Maybe as a set or a single locomotive, I haven't been fully decided yet.